albums this year that belong together. The first one's going to be called Heliocentric and it's going to be out in March. And the second one is going to be called Anthropocentric and it's going to be out sometime in the fall. We have achieved a, I mean, a result that we're really all happy with. We wanted to have a really clear, organized kind of sound where all the little details would come through and I think we've really achieved that. I fucking love the result, yeah, it's really special. I'm pretty happy about all the piano and strings we have we have this time. We have a new singer. A brand new world of possibilities. Especially in terms of clean vocals, of which there are gonna be a lot more on this on these upcoming two albums. The singer's amazing tone is bringing a lot to the band. Musically, the heliocentric album pretty much continues where the protozoic half of Precambrian left off, so epic songs with big orchestrations. Although the vocals kind of put it into a new light. I will pray to San Luke, the writer of the gospel. I will pray to San Paul and ask you to cure my affliction. I pray to Mary, second only to. Both of these albums basically deal with monotheist religion from different personal and philosophical angles. The heliocentric album tells the story of the rise of the heliocentric worldview, the discovery that the earth is actually not at the center of the universe and the effects that this discovery has had on Christian belief. The lyrics um, make reference to Copernicus and Galilei and Giordano Bruno who was burned at the stake of the Catholic Inquisition for being a heretic. And uh, we have actually even adapted some passages from the Bible, yes. But um, generally, this album has definitely taken more influence from Richard Dawkins' book The God Delusion than from the Bible. Der Auftakt da müsste ein Halbton tiefer sein, glaube ich, oder? Aha, ja, das hat sich ähm, Aber mit Bass nachher. Das ist, da passen wir die Gesangslinie an. Das äh, spielen wir so, wie es geschrieben ist. Und dann ändern wir die Gesangslinie. I'm really looking forward for it to be released because it's a totally new lineup. We've never played on any albums of the Ocean be before. So of course it's gonna sound different. There is still, uh, for the most part of it, the usual Ocean feeling to it. There is everything on this album from really calm moments to walls of guitars and, and, and heavy drumming. It's gonna be an Ocean album. Of course, you know, but it's gonna be way different from from before, and I think it's good. It's always been a band that was permanently evolving, you know. The second album that we're going to release in the fall is um, it's maybe a bit more rock and roll than this next one. There are still some almost acoustic songs on that one as well, but for the most part it's a bit more straightforward and um, a bit more technical as well maybe. <laughs> The 
The title of the second album, Anthropocentric, insinuates that the focus is on man here, and in particular the album is going to deal with people who still believe in these days and age that Earth is no more than 5,000 years old and that the dinosaurs never existed. So the focus is on creationism and other kinds of Christian fundamentalism. Alors là, la longueur c'est juste. Est-ce qu'on peut juste avoir la, la sortie un peu plus soft le, le, le tout dernier accord grave, comme ça quand tu rentres dans le couplet... Euh... Ouais. Yeah, that was nice. lots of work if you want to do a great record. It's a big, 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 big work. I got to the point once, I don't know, maybe during two or three weeks, I was just like not even sleeping anymore, you know? Just like listening to those songs and to what I've done and like smoking pot and not even be able to sleep before six or seven, you know, in the morning. The recording was really smooth all the way. I could work whenever I wanted. Even late in the evening or early in the morning, no, no one would complain about that. I really enjoyed waking up in the morning to come to the studio and play drums all day long. Julian got his studio here in La Chotron. Recording wise, it was really also a good choice to make most everything by ourselves. I just took care of the drum recordings and most part of the acoustic instruments and I did mix it these last two weeks. Guitars and, and bass, they recorded them at their places. Then we reamped everything in the studio. That's the only way it could work because it's a band that is I mean, spread in different cities and different places. So It's difficult when you're not living in the same country you know, but it's possible in the age of cheap flights and internet communication. It maybe takes a little more time. As soon as I joined the band, I realized how irregular the band was, you know. Julien and Robin spent like two weeks now on these mixes and, and such long and hard days and intense work. We're just at the last day of the mixing process, which I can tell <laughs> was really long, um, but we achieved something really cool and there was a reason to make it so long. It's been the greatest challenge for me to make this album because we're really exploring new territory with this one, you know, but I'm really, really happy with how it came out in the end. I can't wait that the album's gonna be released. Are you guys fucking ready for some more? Yeah!